Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Disney Dining Show. Fiasco's Steve and Denny here. Am I saying your name You're appropriately? Saying it right. Okay. First time, got it. Yay. First time on the dining show. And we are here at the Coronado Springs area, but not at Coronado Springs. We're at the new Grand Destino Tower to go eat at somebody else say it, because I don't Toledo. think Toledo. There we go. I don't think I retained not, it, but not Toledo. Okay. Not in Ohio. Good deal. Well, that's where we're going now, so we'll uh, bring you along with us. I got the, uh, I went for an appetizer, I went with the tapas menu. Uh, that's one of the offerings that they have here. They, the menu is kind of broken down by the tapas, the beverages, and then like the main course and desserts and everything. Um, so I wanted to try something from the tapas menu, so I went for that as my appetizer. Um, I got chilled marinated mussels. Uh, I cannot pronounce this last word. Uh, I'm going to just try it. S- I can't. I can't. I'm not even going to try uh, it's just basically mussels on a tiny little piece of bread. Um, it was not like uh, that. Doesn't have like a didn't have an overpowering seafoody taste. It basically just tasted like garlic bread with some sort of chewy substance on top. Um, which I like mussels, um, and I couldn't really even taste the mussels because it was so garlicky. But it was still super delicious. Um, you just couldn't really taste the mussels. Um, then I also had the anchovy and manchego, or manchago, I don't know. Manchego. Manchego. Uh, and it was, again, just a little piece of bread with um, anchovy and then, like, a, a, a jam, like a, a sweet jam underneath, which was also delicious for a totally different reason. It, the anchovies were really salty, and then jam was really sweet, so it was, like, a salty-sweet combination that was amazing totally good for two different reasons i would get them both again they're only three dollars they're really small bites though so you know obviously if you have a large family this is not you know let's just get two of these or three of these and we can all split them no they're very very small they're basically for one person um but yeah both were delicious both were great all right so i had the heirloom tomato Appetizer. It was delicious. Um, it has heirloom tomatoes of all types going on. It has farmer's cheese, um, fermented garlic, and torn mint. It also has some peaches going on. So there's a lot happening here, but it all works together really well. Um, it's peppery. The garlic really comes through, and it's light. So it's something nice before your entree, um, and it's not going to fill you up too much. But it's really, really creamy, really good. Okay, like Steve, I'm going to try to say what I ordered, but it's basically uh, the, the bread service here. It's the pan con tomati tomato bread. If you ask me, I think I nailed that. Uh, that was $10. It's grilled bread, crushed tomato, olive oil, and garlic. Now, this caught my, uh, my eye immediately because I ordered something similar at uh, Haleo when it opened. I think I'm saying that right. Haleo, Haleo, Haleo. At least I'm not calling it Jalio. Uh, but I ordered it there when it opened, and the difference between this and that is this has its own little salsa in a cup on the side, and over there it's actually like all mixed together when you get it. Um, like I said, this was $10. I don't remember how much that one was, but I would say this one is substantially better. Uh, maybe I have to go back and try it again, but like the bread is, is, is really good. Uh, it's got like a nice base of oil on it it's very salty but i'm in the mood for for some salt right now so it's it's perfect for what my taste buds are requiring at the moment uh, i also tried some of denny's uh heirloom tomatoes and those also came in at ten dollars and those are really good uh when she told me that that i, I thought the little uh, black specks on the tomato were pepper and i found out they were mint uh, i was really surprised and it was something that i really haven't ever tasted before but it was a really good and interesting taste. So, um, both pretty unique appetizers. I didn't get a chance to try uh, Steve's tapas, but just looking at them, $3 each, that's a pretty good deal.
that's a pretty good deal. And this place is stunning. I'm already pretty impressed with the price per value we're kind of je we're getting already. Uh, but I just ordered a uh, thirty-six dollar fillet. So let's see what that's all about. I got the bone-in pork chop pieard. Uh, it comes with mashed potatoes, this potato puree, uh, like an arugula salad, fennel, and, and it has like a lemon zest, not a lemon zest, but like a squeezed lemon I think was on top, um, which actually really helped. It gave it, I think, a good, a good flavor, not overly lemony, uh, but definitely added to the, to the flavor. It was also fried, which I was not expecting. Uh, I, definitely a, a, a pleasant surprise because I think it added a lot to flavor profile of just, I mean, who doesn't like stuff that's fried? Come on. Uh, not dry at all. I know pork chop can be kind of terrible if it's dry, but no, it was delicious. The only thing about this plate that I was kind of disappointed with was the mashed potato puree or the potato puree I thought was kind of lacking. It, it didn't, I mean, it could have used more butter even. I just wasn't super thrilled with that. But overall, amazing. The presentation was incredible. Uh, how much was it again? Was $30. Well worth it. I think that's a great deal for this. Large serving size. I would 100% get this again. So I had the golden tile fish. It came with petite potatoes, roasted cauliflower, and fennel with an orange Valencia, a Valencia orange sauce. And I loved it. It was really good. Um, the tile fish kind of picks up whatever uh, flavor notes it is paired with. And so it picked up some of the Valencia orange. I honestly wish there was more of it. Um, more citrus would have been great. Uh, you, you can't mess up a roasted cauliflower, so it was really, really good. And petite potatoes were exactly what you expect them to be. It was really good. It was $34, so I think that was a pretty good value. And it's a lovely place to have a dinner in. So. This was great. All right, so like I just mentioned earlier at the end of our appetizers, I got the Manhattan Filet, which we can't come to find out, it's actually not like a filet mignon. It is a New York strip, but it is prepared like a filet mignon. So that's where it gets the name Manhattan Filet. You get it, it's like New York strip and filet combined together. Um, with that being said, by the way, this was uh, 36 bucks. But with that being said, I could tell based on the texture of the steak that this wasn't a filet. However, the flavor was ridiculously good. There was a, let me read to you the description here. It's an olive oil potato puree, grilled onions, dates, and a sherry vinaigrette. So that sherry vinaigrette we found out was actually, or Denny found out, it was a, uh, it's a wine reduction from Spain. I'm, She's also told me more information about it that I, I honestly didn't retain all of it, but it's okay. You get the idea. Uh, that was delicious. You put a little bit of steak on that, uh, on that vinaigrette, which was very sweet, a little bit of potato, and you're having a good day. Um, what were these vegetables? Those must have been the grilled onions, so like they're big green grilled onions, I guess. Yeah, that must be it, but those were really good too. Um, I definitely recommend this also. I'm not sure if Steve mentioned it, but he did bring up. They're not trying to squeeze us all in here at all. There's so much room available and open in this restaurant, and they really are giving everybody a lot of space. I don't want to give them any ideas, but they could put a lot more customers in here, and they're not really, they're not trying to. Um, for a moderate resort and a moderate restaurant with moderate prices, because these are all very moderate prices. It's not, it's not outrageous at all what you're paying for and what you're getting. Not outrageous at all. Uh, I'm really impressed with this place. It's opening night, obviously on the top of their game, but it's really good. But we'll grab some desserts, some sweets, and we'll check back in with you in a little bit. This is the Toledo Tapas Bar, and this is the first item on the dessert menu, and it's delicious. It's a little 
bit of everything. So from cheesecake to lemon curd to raspberry. Coffee. And chocolate. Yeah. Um, it's, Tw- $12. Uh, really delicious. It's like a deluxe candy bar. It is. It's layered. It's got crunchy to it. It's got a moussey layer to it. It's delicious. Uh, really it's good. good to, I think it's a fun thing to split, even though it's kind of a small item. That's what we did. We kind of just got this. We didn't really think that it was going to be what it is. I don't know. It has <laughs> Tapas Bar in the name. I don't know why we just blanked out on the bar part of it. Totally. We, I think we all thought it was going to be like separate little items. That's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, gonna it's not. Not. It's one bar. Yeah. But it was delicious. They call it a progressive dessert, so you can kind of work your way down through the different flavors. And it was was really good, and it was really inventive. So it's not your standard Disney dessert at all. It's really delicious. Uh, So I don't know how much I can add to this. Um, I think we all kind of mutually agreed. uh, The coffee and the lemon portions of this seem to be everybody's, everybody's favorite. Um, I am usually a big fan of raspberry. Honestly, the raspberry is probably my least favorite part of it. Um, but, I mean, all in all, this is really good. Uh, $12, uh, like Steve was mentioning, it's not like super shareable, but it is still kind of a fun thing to share. I mean, this is the most expensive dessert on the menu, and I would assume that uh, it's probably one of the more shareable ones. Just to read a few more off, um, the classic crema catalina, chocolate avocado mousse, and cafe con. You know what? I'm not even gonna try to finish that last one. Leche chocs. No, no. Forget it. You know what? As far as you guys know, there's only three desserts on the menu. No, but this four. Um, it's just that's tough to say. But anyways, yeah, this is good. This is good. Um, I'd get it again. All right, so just wrapped up our dinner at Toledo. Am I Toledo. 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 Still not retaining, but Tomato I'll tomorrow. eventually I'll say it. I I'll, already foresee the comments of this video. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I was just telling them earlier, uh, most of the blood inside of me is Italian, but I can barely say any Italian words, so. Excuse our mispronunciations. See, I can't as even you're about to, to say yeah, As you're about to mispronounce, mispronunciation. Ironic. Yeah, there you go. But anyways, um, again, you know, this is at, like, behind us right now is the Grand Destino Tower. Just opened today, so this was the opening dinner. Uh, this is a moderate resort. And before we start going over opinions for dinner, I will just say this is a stunning moderate yeah, resort. it's amazing. Um, probably, as far as the interior goes... The nicest moderate resort, I, in, in, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And as far as this uh, this restaurant's concerned, it's it's moderate prices at I would almost say uh, a deluxe value as far as the food and the atmosphere goes. But we'll we'll get into that. Uh, why don't we start with you, Steve? What, what do you think about about not just the resort, not just the restaurant, but the food and everything in general? Uh, I think it was outstanding. I was really impressed uh, with the presentation of the food, the flavor. Uh, the restaurant itself, I know you had mentioned, you know, a, a point that I brought up of, you know, they really could pack more people in here, but they, you know, they don't. It makes it like very spacious, very nice. You don't have tables right on top of you. It is a little bit loud in there. I just think it's kind of a, the way that maybe the high ceilings are making the echoey effect going on. So it is a little bit loud, but not, oh, not like crazy. Um, it, I, I don't know. I thought it was great. The, the, um, bar lounge area off to the side has some cool pictures of um, Walt with uh, Salvador Dali and it, it's just outstanding. The the decor, the food. If I come back here and it was as good as it was tonight, this was probably going to make it into a top five list of mine. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. All right. So everything was delicious. It was an amazing experience all the way around from um, the space. Just as it, you mentioned it, Steve, it's just it's gorgeous in there from the warm colors on the ceiling to the cool tile floor. It just all really works together really beautifully. The food was delicious. Um, 
It was a high-end meal at not a high-end price. So if you're looking for a great option and you're not going to get a better view than the one that you have in Toledo, um, this is a great place to go. If you can get an ADR, go for it and enjoy it with your family. Kids can eat in there and and people aren't going to stop and stare and and give you horrible looks if they don't sit still. It's going to be a great place for all ages. Yeah, so I couldn't, I couldn't agree with these guys more. Um, if you're staying here at Coronado Springs or Grand Destino, you have to come here. If you're not staying here, still come out of your way to come here. It's a great location. Um, I mean, the best way I could describe it is is deluxe quality for moderate prices. That's, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, but that's going to do it for this week's episode of our Disney dining show. Corey Fiasco, Steve Porter, and the newest member of our team, Danny Sunderly. Did I say that right? You did it. Well, at least Perfect. I'm pronouncing people's names right. <laughs> Might not get food all the time, but if I can get names, I'm feeling all right. right. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks for staying tuned to this episode of the Disney dining show. We will see you in the next one and have a great week. <laughs>